And Eric, uh, I turn it over to you. Sure, thank you, Carol. I'll stay here because my comments are going to be very brief. Um, uh, my, my real responsibility for this meeting was to make sure to arrange uh, glorious Washington, D.C. spring weather for two days. But wait, no, no, before we but then the, the working group, they were responsible for the agenda, which will keep us in this room with the, <laughs> curtains, with the curtains closed so you won't even know we're having two glorious days of weather in Washington, D.C. And, and, and believe me, we want to appreciate it while we can because it will get hot before we know it. Um, but in all seriousness, welcome. For those who traveled here in particular, we appreciate it. For those who came over from NIH uh, over to Silver Spring, we appreciate that too. And for those who are tuning in uh, remotely, uh, welcome. And, and I expect there'll be lots of lots more people watching as we learn uh, these uh, uh, the archive video. Um, and in fact, I will tell you that many people do indeed watch these uh, deliberations after the fact, especially internationally. We get a lot of people who have watched these uh, genomic medicine meetings. Um, and so they're important. Um, in terms of the actual topic we're, we're, we're tackling here, I was very enthusiastic when the working group came up with this idea for this meeting and having the theme be this connection between uh, the bedside and the bench, uh, and in, in part because it has a certain um, uh, maturation aspect to it for the Institute. I, I, maybe people don't completely appreciate, but even five, six years ago when I became the director of the Institute, there really was essentially no bedside in our extramural program. Um, there was some of that in our intramural program, but our extramural program was uh, uh, incredibly vibrant, uh, but very much a basic science-oriented um, um, uh, enterprise. Uh, it had some population genomics that was growing up, but it was really far from the bedside, and that was clearly one of the things we thought the Institute needed to uh, support more, uh, reflected by our 2011 strategic plan embracing genomic medicine as an important component of the genomics research that we wanted to support, but, but also recognizing that it wasn't a matter of converting the Institute's extramural program into a clinical research program, but rather to have a, a diversity of activities that truly do stretch from the most basic science activities in genomics to clinical applications. And of course, as we've built that over the last four or five, six years, like every, every previous effort of building this, you recognize that there uh, are incredible fertile opportunities by not having these things developing in isolation, but rather having feedback loops that go forward to back and then back, uh, back to the starting point again. And that's exactly what we realize clearly is needed in, in genomics research, especially as we move towards the implementation of genomic medicine. Every time we uncover something interesting on a more clinical side of genomics, we recognize there's an immense number of basic science questions that, that are not only are interesting, but actually need to be answered in order to sort of move forward even in, in clinical understanding of what is happening. And so this is a workshop to strategize around that. I think it makes total sense for us to be thinking about. We already are thinking about aspects of it, and we hope that the conversations that will go on today, including inviting some folks here who have maybe coming to an NHRI workshop for the first time, and we really appreciate that, will give us some new ideas and new, new strategic thinking around this, uh, an important component of a maturation, if you will, of, of our, our research portfolio. So uh, with that, once again, I look forward to the next couple of days, and we have a great uh, set of speakers and a great uh, areas of discussion, and I think I'll just turn this over to Dan, who's going to chair the first session. Do, do we 